Hi everyone, I'm Jen McClary from Grape Juice Mom, and I am here today to show you how I pack for my most precious cargo when I'm traveling, and that's my kids and my wine. So I will start by showing you about the wine because I have a feeling that most people watching care most about that. Um, but in order to do so, I'm gonna show you our suitcases. So let me flip this guy around. Okay, so our suitcases are all packed, and as you can see, I have a hard-sided suitcase. And the reason why this really pertains to the kids is I actually use the kids to prep for um, my transportation method. So I have a small suitcase inside the big one, and that's key because you're gonna need some space after you buy all that wine to put your wine. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I wrap the actual wine bottles. So there's lots of different um, bubble wrap methods. You could get regular bubble wrap, or you can pick up these sleeves. Um, this is one of the many brands wine skin. It's got a little sealed um, edge here, which I will tell you up front if you plan on reusing these, don't seal it because it's really difficult to get back open. Um, and so you have this as a little bubble um, protective sleeve. I also found these guys on Amazon. So there are these sleeves that pack nice and small and it's got a little pump. And when you inflate it, it looks like this. So the bottle fits right in there, um, which is really nice and has um, a little bit more bubble protection than the sleeve does. So you can see a little bit of the difference there, a little bit more air protection. So what I do, I'm going to start with the sleeve. I use the sleeve and I have a bottle of wine here that I'll use for demonstration, but obviously I'll be bringing different wine back from Monterey wine country. And so this is super simple. You just drop the wine in the sleeve and um, even with sealing it it's not like it's an airtight seal so if you did risk that um, the bottle broke it would still spill out all over your stuff in your suitcase so that comes into the next step that I have and that is two gallon Ziploc bags so you can find these on Amazon I have not found them in store I haven't really looked that hard but I know that Amazon's my go-to and on Prime and so I drop my wine bottle in the Ziploc bag. I might have to fold up the plastic on the end a little bit. Zip it up. And now, at least, if the bottle breaks in your bag, um, you hope that all the wine is contained or maybe it's just a slow leak or a crack, but even if it's a full-blown break, um, it will fill the Ziploc, maybe a slight risk if you get on your stuff, but not as if the whole bottle shattered in with all your stuff. So then when you pack it with your stuff, make sure to pack it around clothing. And like I said, I recommend the hard-sided suitcase that'll add a little bit more protection. And you definitely don't wanna give it a lot of space to move in your suitcase, so the more clothes, the better. Um, and that pretty much concludes how I pack for wine. So now I'm gonna transition to how I pack for my kids. Cheers. Okay, so we're back to the suitcases and I have my suitcase opened. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have the small suitcase inside the big suitcase and that'll give me more space when I have some wine to include in there. Um, the biggest thing is you just have to remember is typically you don't wanna pay oversized baggage fees if it goes over 50 pounds. So you'll wanna put a lot of the clothes in with the wine bottles so that it's not too heavy. But okay, so first we're just starting on my baby side. Um, so I use these amazing packing cubes. I'll pull one out. Um, brand is kind of irrelevant to me, but what I can do is I can fit all my kids' clothes, um, each kid's clothes in each packing cube. And you can see I have them labeled. Um, that helps for when you ask your husband or dad to dress the kids and they can't figure out which clothes are whose, well, it's labeled, so there's no excuses. And then a couple things that I never travel without is one, our sound machine. This actually is not our best sound machine, but um, it's our travel one in case it breaks. And then this here is a little first aid kit. And so it's got a thermometer in there, some Advil, oh, just turned it on on accident and um, nasal spray and all that sort of stuff. Um, also, this here is a little portable high chair. Um, it's I find it really convenient um, if we're gonna be staying in an Airbnb like we are for this trip and 
Um, you know, they don't have a high chair, so it's just a little folding high chair. I can share the link in the comments. So then moving on to my older daughter's side, again, the packing cube. I have a little bit of a bigger one for her. Her clothes are a little bigger. And then I also put all their little accessories so you can see that underwear, socks, swim, hair stuff in a little packing cube so it doesn't get out of control. Um, it kind of pains me to travel without diapers um, because they're so expensive, so I usually pack diapers and wipes. And even best part of that is that they we probably won't be coming back home with any, so that's great. and It'll give us more space in our luggage on our way home. And then here you see more of these wine sleeves that I'll be packing bottles of wine in. And I've reused these several times, um, and so you definitely can get your money's worth. They sell these wine sleeves on um, at the wineries frequently, you'll find them, but they're crazy overpriced. So if you are planning for your trip, I recommend finding them on Amazon or somewhere affordable by you and ordering those in advance because you will overpay at the wineries. One last thing, I don't want you to forget, if you are heading to wine country or even when you're traveling and you know you're gonna be enjoying wine, don't forget your wine opener. Um, this one I will be putting in my uh, checked bag because it has a pretty sharp knife on it and I'm pretty sure they're going to confiscate it and it's actually uh, personalized. My parents got it for me and it says Grape Juice Mom on there so it's very special to me. But um, you don't want to have to pay a corking fee if you go anywhere um, and if you're back at your room, especially in Airbnb or wherever you choose to go and you need one to open a bottle, um, it's always great to have. Alright, that's all for today and wish me luck on my trip. Thanks.